Welcome to this uh, Windows channel and uh, this is a little tips and tricks video. I've had a few people ask me um, f you know, how to get into compatibility mode with um, Internet Explorer and uh, also with Microsoft Edge. Well, the first thing that I have to say is that compatibility mode is unavailable in Microsoft Edge so don't search for it in any of the settings there is no such thing as compatibility mode um, available here. Apparently in a future update of Edge there could be a compatibility mode available eventually. Um, I would think that maybe when they're kind of sure that you know will um, maybe be more on Edge than Internet Explorer for doing things but uh, there is no such mode in Edge. So don't search for it. In Internet Explorer 11, compatibility mode is available in the um, tools menu on the upper right. You have that little pinwheel here. Click on it and you have compatibility view settings. Once you click here, you have a little box and what you need to do is enter the websites that you want to have in compatibility mode. What is compatibility view? Uh, basically, when Internet Explorer came to version 11, some websites have not upgraded to that technology the way that it handles web pages. And they use older technology that is compatible with older browsers, uh, Internet Explorer 8, 7, 6, and so on. So they added this compatibility view, which disables some of the functionalities of Internet Explorer 11 to make sure that it works right with the website that you want to see. So usually if you go to a website and have some problems viewing, viewing it correctly or some of the things in the website doesn't work well, it's possible that it needs to actually be viewed uh, with an older browser of Internet Explorer. There are websites out there that are really optimized for Explorer and you know, now less and less but you know there's, there's still some that exists especially on some websites that don't update their code very often. So what you do, all you need to do is go and enter the website's web address there and click the Add button. And when it does, it's going to show you that it's added to the list. So next time you go to this page, it's going to be shown in compatibility mode because it knows that that website needs to do so. If you want to remove one, you just click on the website and click the Remove button and that's it. So that's where you do it. It's available only in Internet Explorer 11. Um, so the um, idea here is anyways you should not be using anything else uh, in Internet Explorer than 11. If you're still using Internet Explorer make sure it's 11 that you have. So another way is if a website for example let's go to another website here that I go very often uh, spaceweather.com. Let's say that the website here is a website that needs compatibility mode. Every time you're on the website, when you click that compatibility view setting, you have the website that you are visiting that already is listed there. So if there's something wrong with a website or if they tell you you need to be in compatibility view, go to the website and once you're there, go into the compatib <laughs> compatibility view setting and you just click the add button because it's already there it's already written with the correct URL so you don't have to enter it manually and risk having some problems with it so that's the little tips and tricks for today if you enjoy my videos why not subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online you have comments questions problems let us know and give us thumbs up if you like the videos helps us on YouTube thank you so much for following us